السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر آن آر لاسٹ لیکچر آف آف آر کورس آن ہیلتھ سائیکالوجی آئی ایم شیور یو مسٹ آل بی ویری ایکسائٹیڈ اینڈ آئی ہوپ دس جرنی دیٹ وی ہیو ٹیکن آف فورٹی فائیو لیکچرز آف ان دس کورس اٹ یو نو دیٹ اٹ ہیز بین میننگ فل فار یو ٹوڈیز لیکچر از گوئنگ ٹو بی اراؤنڈ دا بیسکس آف ہیلتھ سائیکالوجی But today we are going to discuss, when we discuss the role of health psychology, it's going to be in a different light. You know, it's going to be in a different manner, in a different way. Because now, you know, we, you have, we have together taken a very good look at what, you know, what, what are the concepts of health psychology. And I'm sure you are in a position to understand these concepts much better and and you can understand and relate to the significance of health psychology more closely. For example, now if we were to talk of prevention, you will be able to understand what prevention really means and what are the types of prevention. You know, we have talked about primary prevention, secondary prevention, tertiary prevention. I'm, I'm sure you, you can recall all that. You can understand what prevention is all about. Similarly, if we talk about promoting health, you will know what it means, what promoting health really means. In this way, we will try to summarize some of the main themes of this course, you know, that we, uh, that we are ending today. Not only are we going to talk about or discuss points that have already been covered, but there would be certain new ideas also that I'll be introducing today at the tail end of this course. You, for instance, you, you know, uh, we will talk about the benefits of being a health psychologist. I mean, it's, it's a totally new thing. We will talk about, you know, what are the plus points, you know, what, what would you have to gain if you were to go into this profession of becoming a health psychologist. And we will also look into what are the possible careers, you know, that you can adopt in the future. So today, let's start with talking about the importance of health psychology and its role in today's world. I think that's a very, very basic concern. Many researchers believe that physical health may be influenced by psychology through a variety of direct and indirect means. There is some evidence that certain negative mental states, for instance, you know, like depression and anxiety, they directly affect physical immunity. And as we had talked about it in, in one of our previous lectures, immunity is affected, you know, through the production of stress hormones. And I'm sure you will remember and you will recall that when we had talked about stress hormones, we had talked hormones ki baat ki thi. We have talked about catecholamines and we have also talked about glucocorticoids. These are the two stress hormones in ka zikar humne earlier kiya tha. You know, similarly, jo the research that's being carried out in this area, you know, that indicates that negative psychological states tend to, you know, fasten and expedite the process of disease. For instance, you recall when we were talking about HIV, AIDS, and we were talking about heart disease. I mean, these are some of those illnesses and conditions where psychological stress definitely has a very important role to play. I mean, psychological stress seems to directly, you know, is related to the biological mechanisms of what the body goes through. Similarly, negative emotional states may also indirectly affect disease processes through their influence on health behaviors, you know, when we, we were talking about, you know, what healthful behaviors are, you know, we had seen that how negative emotional states can indirectly cause unhealthy behaviors. For example, depression has been related to many risk factors for poor health, you know, including hypertension, for instance, smoking, overeating, physical inactivity, poor medication compliance. So, you know, these are some of the risk factors where we know that depression, you know, has a definite role to play. 
so in a nutshell we can say that health psychology is the use of psychological principles to promote health and to prevent illness it is also part of clinical treatment for established illnesses so this approach considers the biological the cognitive the emotional the social the behavioral you know the psychosomatic and the environmental factors as they relate to health as they relate to illness you know as they relate to health care at the level of individuals and mind you you know it's not only that it looks at the level of individuals but it also looks at in individuals when they're part of a group you know when they're part of an organizational setup or when they're part of a community so it's at all these levels that health psychologists they tend to look at at individuals and people health psychology you know target certain areas that no other subject in psychology targets i think that's a very very important thing that we need to keep in mind by knowing these target areas we will be in a better position to say what health psychology precisely is all about so mind you as i had mentioned earlier to you this approach you know has adopted you know what it calls the biopsychosocial model we have already talked about this model you know in earlier lectures so biopsychosocial model jo hai wo basically biological conditions ko psychological conditions ko aur social factors ko in sab ko zehn mein rakhta hai now i would like to talk about certain targets of health psychology you know that ye bade important targets hain inka aap khaas taur pe zehn mein rakhiyega pehla target jo health psychology ka bada important target hai wo understanding behavioral factors ka hai i think we need to understand what behavioral factors operate health psychologists jo hain they seem to identify behaviors and experiences that promote health not only health even that lead to illness you know ya jo influence karte hain effectiveness of health care ko and health psychologists also talk about you know how to improve health care and how to you know improve on health policy you know in their lives for instance smoking ki humne baat you know kai dafa ki hai smoking hai diet hai you know irregular exercise hai all these conditions jo hain all these factors jo hain they contribute to formation of disease ya illness similarly you know there are associations between illness and individual characteristics such as personality personality ki characteristics kai aisi hai jinki wajah se we know ke jo we become more predisposed to we become more prone to illnesses for example you know it is it is normally said that in individuals you know who need ya who seek thrill in their lives you know thrill seeking personalities kehte hain you know they are more likely to drive fast aur aap ko yaad hoga ke jaisa maine pehle bhi aapko bataya tha ke you know when a person drives fast you know he is more prone to having accidents so they are more likely than to have injury they are more likely to have accidents aur isi tarah you know there are certain personalities you know of people who are some, somewhat distrustful unke liye dusre ko trust karna jo hai wo aasan nahi hota so so these people are also distrustful around physicians around their doctors around their psychologists and 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 so these people people with such personalities they tend to also not make commitment with their regular treatment with their regular checkups and with their you know with, with their regular follow ups so personality jo hai wo is andaaz se bhi effect uska padta hai insaan ke upar ke how is he going to follow through you know various you know their conditions or follow through their treatment similarly you know we also need to keep in mind factors that lead to behaviors that call illness uh because psychologists you know hamara kaam hai to predict ke wo kya aisi conditions hain you know jo hame susceptible kar deti hain to illness 
and why? I mean, these are the kind of questions uh, a researcher, a psychology, a psychologist who's in research is constantly trying to ask and answer. So, there are many contributing factors, you know, that help determine our behaviors. And all of these dimensions of biopsychosocial model can be applied to understand these interconnections. So, there are interconnections, you know, between the biological factors, the social factors, the psychological factors. Biologically, for instance, we know that physical addiction plays an important role in smoking cessation. We also know that psychological dependency on tobacco, you know, that also plays a very important part. I mean, psychological dependency, yes, sometimes it's, it's, it comes around because of these advertising campaigns that we see in the papers or on the TV. I mean, there are these seductive advertising campaigns jo, you know, encourage karne ke liye tobacco promotion ke liye ki jati hain. Similarly, we know that psychological stress jo hai, chahe wo ghar se related ho, chahe wo job se related ho, people who experience high levels of stress over a long period of time, you know, they are more prone to have cardiovascular illness or cardiovascular disease. I mean, aapne pichle lectures mein ye bhi cheez dekhi hai. Isi zara, we know that people, jo social factors ki wajah se, like people having low incomes and less access to health, you know, health facilities, unki bhi health pe in cheezon ka asar padhta hai. So, these such people with low income groups jo hai, you know, they, they are exposed to, you know, greater environmental toxigens, you know, aise environments ka exposure jo itni healthy nahi hoti, ho zyada in logon ka hota hai. And, and such people, unfortunately, are also exposed to lower levels of education. And we know that education plays a very important part. Similarly, you know, poorer housing conditions, you know, they also add to, add to stress and they also add to unhealthy, you know, conditions, unhealthy, you know. Similarly, dekhne mein aaya hai ke people coming from lower income brackets tend to smoke more. Smoke ki prevalence, to smoking ki prevalence hai, unfortunately, in, in a strata of, you know, population mein zyada hoti hai. And many other toxic, you know, socially determined living conditions jo hai, wo, wo, ye jo strata hai population ka, that they, they become more exposed to. So, health psychologists, jo hai, you know, they are constantly trying, you know, their aim is ke wo health behaviors ko better kare, taake people, they change health behaviors for the dual purpose of helping people stay healthy and helping people sort of to continue attending if they are, have a condition, ke wo apne treatment regimens ko follow kar sake. Kyunke wo treatment regimens jo hai, unka follow through jo hai, bada important hai. Is hawale se, rehabilitation ke hawale se, health psychologist jo hai, uska baut focus hota hai, you know, cognitive behavior therapy pe, behavior modification pe, and other, other te techniques and strategies that they are constantly, you know, using for this purpose. You know, they are constantly using to, re to help people, you know, to bring change in their lives. So, this cognitive behavior therapy or behavior modification hai, ye predominant ye modalities hai, jo health psychologists jo hai, jinko use karte hai. The next very important target area health psychology ka jo hai, wo basically preventing illness ka hai. Health psychologists jo hai, they work towards promoting health through behavioral change. Or wo kai tarikhe jo hai, jinka pehle bhi zikr hum, hum, humne kiya hai, you know, they, they adopt to those methods to prevent illness, you know, in, in so many ways. Practitioners have emphasized karte hain baut zyada education ke use ko. And education as a result has a very important role to play, you know, from the point of view of prevention. As, as many people do not realize, they do not recognize the risk factors, jo, ya, jo risk jo bimari jo present karti hai in, in their lives, uski because of lack of understanding of the illness, because of lack of understanding of, of what the condition all is about, 
एंड वॉट इट कैन ब्रिंग एंड वॉट इट डज इन टेल उसकी लैक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग की वजह से लैक ऑफ एजुकेशन की वजह से जो जो रिस्क फैक्टर्स हैं बहुत बढ़ जाते हैं सो दे फोर हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट का जो एम्फसिस है वो एजुकेशन के ऊपर बहुत ज़्यादा होता है बिकॉज इट्स ओनली थ्रू एजुकेटिंग पीपल इट्स ओनली थ्रू प्रोवाइडिंग इंफॉर्मेशन टू पीपल यू नो टू बाई डेवलपिंग हाई लेवल ऑफ अवेयरनेस इन दैम दैट दे आर एबल टू हेल्प दैम टू टेक बेटर केयर ऑफ देर ओन सेल्व और यू नो एंड इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग दैट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स वन इज अनएबल टू दो वन वन मे हैव द इंफॉर्मेशन वन मे हैव द अंडरस्टैंडिंग बट समाइम्स वन इज अनएबल टू इम्प्लीमेंट द नॉलेज दैट वन वन हैज और ये इनवेरिएबली ये जो चीज़ है ये इसलिए होती है कि बिकॉज वन इज गोइंग थ्रू लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेस लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर्स जो एवरी डे लाइफ के प्रेशर्स हैं उसकी वजह से एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट वन इज नॉट एबल टू टेक गुड केयर ऑफ वन सेल्फ इन स्पाइट ऑफ नोइंग इसकी एक बड़ी अच्छी जो मिसाल है वो ये है दैट वी ऑल मे नो दैट स्मोकिंग इज बैड फॉर अस यू नो टबैको इज बैड फॉर अस वी मे हैव दैट इन साइट यू नो बट वी मे स्टिल कंटिन्यू टू स्मोक इन स्पाइट ऑफ नोइंग दैट स्मोकिंग जो है यू नो यू नो इट कैन कॉज कैंसर यू नो स्मोकिंग कैन कैन कॉज डेथ इवन डेथ लेकिन इन स्पाइट ऑफ दैट वी डू इट और और जो एक बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग सी चीज़ जो सामने आती है वो ये है दैट पीपल हु कैन लीस्ट अफोर्ड टबैको हु कैन लीस्ट अफोर्ड स्मोकिंग यू नो वो सबसे ज़्यादा कंज्यूम करते हैं इसके पीछे भी देखने में आता है कि यू नो ये उनका कई दफ़ा लाशौरी तौर पे तरीका है टू डील विद इमोशनल स्टेट्स जब हम गहराई में जाते हैं जब हम एनालिसिस करते हैं स्मोकर्स का खास तौर पे कई दफ़ा तो नज़र ये आता है कि देर आर सो मैनी अदर वरीज देर आर सो मैनी अदर प्रेशर्स इन देर लाइफ कि उन प्रेशर्स से एक किस्म का वे आउट उन्होंने ढूंढा है उनको अवॉइड करने का एक तरीका जेन ने बनाया होता है यू नो एक फरार का रास्ता जेन ने कई दफ़ा ढूंढा होता है तो तो यू नो सो सो समाइम्स we tend to adopt ways or hold on to ways that are detrimental for our, our health health psychologists jo hain they also aim you know at educating health professionals like physicians you know like nurses and they train these people these health professionals to effectively communicate with their patients ye bade important cheez hai health psychologists ka ye bada important kaam hai kyunki you know sometimes health professionals jo hain doctors jo hain you know they are not very effective communicators they sometimes tend to communicate in ways that highlight the psychosocial barriers to understanding so in other words they communicate in ways you know that are not very effective teesra jo ek bada important jo target area hai wo exploring the effects of disease hai i mean there's so much to know about disease uske जो इफेक्ट्स है इंसान की मेंटल फंक्शनिंग पे मेंटल वेल बींग पे आई मीन दो काइंड ऑफ एरियाज एट वन नीड्स टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर इंस्टेंस वेन एन वेन एन इलनेस और वेन एन इंजरी और एन एक्सीडेंट बिफोर द पर्सन आई मीन देयर होल लाइफ मे चेंज फॉर इंस्टेंस अ साइकोलॉजिकली हेल्दी पर्सन यू नो हु इज इन्वॉल्व इन अ स्वेयर एक्सीडेंट लेट्स ए हु gets involved in a severe car accident and because of that he may end up having to deal with some very very practical you know down to earth certain issues i mean he may have to contend with with things uh, that would start to even affect his psychological well being uski misal ye ho sakti hai ke ke for instance he may start to worry about it who is going to take care of you know who is going to take care of me uh similarly if a person can't work he may start to worry about how is he going to afford you know wo apni family ke jo kharche hain wo jo apne bachchon ki tuition ke kharche hain education ki jo costs hain expense hai wo jo khane peene ka expense hai you know how is he going to pay 
the bills for the utilities for instance wo bijli ka bill kaise dega similarly you know if a person sees themselves if people see themselves as being self reliant they they would have a big question in their mind how do they handle this new identity kyunki is nayi situation mein wo jo self reliance ki feeling jo hoti hai wo obviously undermine ho jati hai wo bahut kam ho jati hai one starts to feel that one is dependent on others one is dependent on the support system one is dependent on the family you know then questions like you know uh, how how will i be able to continue you know practicing some of the habits or or interests that i have ye i mean these are the kind of concerns one can have all these possibilities can affect a person's relationship they can these things can also affect one's self esteem self esteem se meri murad hai ki how one sees himself you know how one views himself ek hamara jo self image hai wo isse change ho jata hai our stress level mein farak aa jata hai you know we undergo a lot of stress hum we experience a lot of stress similarly you know our experience of happiness and our belief system can also be eroded or affected you know when we are when we go through such experience many of these issues jo one faces you know they are sometimes economic in nature and sometimes they are social in nature rather than psychological but they definitely have a direct impact on a person's psychological well being to ye sari cheeze in that way agar aap gaur kare are connected are they are interconnected so this important field of study jo health psychology ka hai considers how one can deal with terminal illness how one can live with a terminal illness and lead a better quality of life i mean these are very very important issues and target concerns jo health psychologists ke hote hain ki how to help people who are suffering from terminal illnesses and in spite of the terminal illness jaise aapko yaad hoga maine baat cancer ki ki thi jab cancer ki baat ki thi to maine kaha tha ki even people jinki doctors kehte hain have only you know few months to live a health psychologist working with somebody who has a terminal illness uska phir bhi yahi focus hota hai how to bring comfort in the life of the patient even if he has a few weeks to live a few months to live you know that's a very important role for the health psychologist to play because basically you know unke zehn mein jo target hota hai jo objective hota hai wo patient ki ya insaan ki mental well being ko attend karna hota hai is tarah ki situations mein chautha jo target bada important ek area hai wo critical analysis of health policy ka hai health psychologists are exploring not only you know you know how to improve the life of an individual but they they also have a a more global kind of a, a a look a more macro kind of a look on the health policy and they they try to evaluate they try to critically evaluate you know what are the inequities present in the health policy uske alawa agar koi inequalities hai koi kahin pe agar unhe koi social injustice nazar ho koi hota hua nazar aata hai to they point out to that also so isse aapko bada acha ye andaza ho sakta hai ki health psychologist ka jo role hai you know jo scope jo health psychology ka hai that you know that is you know that's uh uski expansion bahut zyada hai it goes beyond the individual level wo sirf ek ek person ke around hi nahi hai balki wo ek puri society ke around bhi hai you know wo ek aisa examination karta hai of the social and economic you know determinants of the health experience for instance of the health policy aur ye jo cheez hai you know isme wo comparison between you know provinces bhi karta hai between countries bhi karta hai between nations bhi karta hai so this i think is a very very important role jo health psychologist ka you know ek target area hota hai aur wo i mean he he tries to do play that role is it another f- factor 
جس کو ہم ففتھ ٹارگیٹ ایریا کہہ سکتے ہیں دیٹ از کہ امپروونگ ڈاکٹر پیشنٹ کمیونیکیشن ہیلتھ سائیکولوجسٹ جو ہے دے اٹیمپ ٹو ایڈ دا پروسیس آف کمیونیکیشن بٹوین ڈاکٹرز اینڈ پیشنٹس ڈیورنگ دیئر میڈیکل کنسلٹیشن یہ ایک بڑا امپورٹنٹ رول ہے بڑا امپورٹنٹ ٹارگیٹ ہے کیونکہ اس پروسیس میں یو نو دیر مینی کمپلیکس یو نو پرابلمس دیٹ ون ایکسپیرینسز یو نو انویریبلی دا کائنڈ آف جاگن دا کائنڈ آف لینگو دا کائنڈ آف لینگویج یو نو آپ کا بھی ایکسپیرینس یہ آئی ایم شیور ہوگا میرا بھی ہے کہ دا کائنڈ آف یو نو لینگویج دا ڈاکٹرس ٹین ٹو یوز ایٹ ٹائمس ود دیئر پیشنٹس وہ پیشنٹ کے اوپر سے چلی جاتی ہے وہ اوپر سے گزر جاتی ہے آئی مین تو ہیلتھ سائیکولوجسٹ جو ہے وہ انویریبلی ایسی لینگویج یوز کرتا ہے وہ وہ چیزوں کو اس انداز سے سمجھانے کی کوشش کرتا ہے کہ جو پیشنٹ کو سمجھ آ جائے اینڈ دیٹ از ون ریزن وائی وین اے پیشنٹ کمس ٹو اے ہیلتھ سائیکولوجسٹ وہ انویریبلی وہ مشورہ کرتا ہے وہ پوچھتا ہے ہیلتھ سائیکولوجسٹ سے کہ جی میرے ڈاکٹر نے مجھے یہ یہ چیزیں کہی تھیں کائنڈلی مجھے سمجھائیں کہ واٹ ڈی مین بائی دیٹ سو اے ہیلتھ سائیکولوجسٹ انویریبلی فائنڈ ہم سیلف elaborating on what the doctors you know had said to the patient to isi tarah beshumar researchers you know uh, have carried out investigation is process ka and they also discovered ke medical practitioner jo hai doctor jo hai wo invariably uski understanding is phenomena ke bare mein is very low somehow یو ڈاکٹر سیم ٹو ناٹ بادر ویری مچ اراؤنڈ کہ وہ جو چیز پیشنٹ کو بتا رہے ہیں وہ جو سجیشنز دے رہے ہیں وہ ایڈوائس جو دے رہے ہیں وہ آیا پیشنٹ کو سمجھ بھی آ رہی ہے یا نہیں ون مین ایریا آف ریسرچ جو اس ایریا میں ٹاپک پہ ہے وہ انوالو اسی چیز کو کرتا ہے کہ ہمارے جس کو ہم کہتے ہیں ڈاکٹر سینٹرڈ یو نو کنسلٹیشن کنسلٹیشن جو ہے وہ بیسکلی دو قسم کی ہے ون از ڈاکٹر سینٹرڈ دی ادر از پیشنٹ سینٹرڈ ہمارے یہاں اگر آپ غور کریں تو ہمارا جو ماڈل ہے میڈیکل ماڈل جو ہے وچ از پریکٹسڈ ان آر کنٹری فار انسٹنس وہ ڈاکٹر سینٹرڈ ہے اور یہ یہ بلکہ میرا میرا ایکسپیرینس تو یہ ہے کہ آل اوور دا ورلڈ یہ جو ماڈل ہے وہ ڈاکٹر سینٹرڈ ہی ہے کیونکہ جب آپ ڈاکٹرس کے پاس جاتے ہیں تو وہ اپنے میڈیکل ماڈل کو فالو کرتے ہیں پریٹی مچ از دا سیم تو ڈاکٹر سینٹرڈ ماڈل کی جو جو کنسلٹیشن ہے جو کمیونیکیشن ہے وہ جنرلی از ویری ڈائریکٹیو یو نو پیشنٹ از آس کوشچنس اینڈ دا پیشنٹ ہیز ٹو یو نو آنسر کوشچنس اور انویریبلی اس گفتگو میں اس کمیونیکیشن میں اس انٹر ایکشن میں آپ دیکھیں گے آپ دیکھتے ہیں یا آپ محسوس کرتے ہوں گے کہ دیر از ویری لٹل یو نو ڈسیزن میکنگ کا جو پروسیس ہے جو فیصلہ کیا جاتا ہے جو چیز طے کی جاتی ہے وہ ڈاکٹر کی طرف سے آتی ہے اس میں پیشنٹ کا مشورہ نہیں لیا جاتا اس میں پیشنٹ کو اس پروسیس میں انوالو نہیں کیا جاتا یہ جو پیشنٹ کی انوالومنٹ کا پروسیس ہے یو نو دس از سم تھنگ وچ از رادر یونیک ٹو ہیلتھ سائیکالوجی اینڈ ٹو سائیکالوجی یو نو ان جنرل تو پیشنٹ کنسلٹیشن جو ہے پیشنٹ سینٹرڈ کنسلٹیشن جو ہیں یو نو یہ ان کا سب سے بڑا جو فائدہ جو ہے وہ یہ ہے کہ دا وین دا پیشنٹ اینڈز اپ گوئنگ ہوم فرام دا ڈاکٹرز کلینک ہی فیلس دیٹ ہی ہیز بین ہرڈ بائی دا ڈاکٹر ہی ہیز بین ہرڈ بائی دا ہیلتھ سائیکالوجسٹ اور ہیلتھ سائیکالوجسٹ نے جو فیصلہ کیا پیشنٹ کی بہتری کے لیے اس میں پیشنٹ کو بھی شامل کیا گیا سو so, آپ کو یاد ہوگا کہ میں نے پہلے بھی آپ کو بتایا تھا کہ کمٹمنٹ جو ہے رسپانسبلٹی جو ہے کسی بھی چیز کے اراؤنڈ وہ زیادہ بہتر ہو جاتی ہے اگر ہمیں یہ محسوس ہو کہ اس فیصلے میں ہمارا ہم بھی شامل تھے وی ور آلسو کنسلٹیڈ اینڈ وی ور پارٹ آف اٹ ایز ویل اب ہم چلتے ہیں اگلے ایک چھٹے ٹارگیٹ ایریا پہ جس کو ہم کہتے ہیں ایڈہیرنس ٹو میڈیکل ایڈوائس
getting people, I mean, it's very easy to tell people what to do, but getting people to obey medical advice and, ad and adhere to the treatment and follow through the treatment is a very, very difficult task. And this is a task that a health psychologist invariably finds himself or herself performing. I mean, a lot of times that people tend to forget that they have to take their medicine, you know, daily at a certain time. They find their side effects too difficult to cope with. Jo dawaiyan wo lere hote hain, you know, unke side effects ke baare mein wo invariably bhool jaate hain. They tend not to take medicine. Or isse kya hota hai? When patients do not take medicine, you know, usse unka ilaj jo hai wo proper nahi hota. Or jab us unka ilaj proper nahi hota, to is cheez ka you know, a nuksan, kai levels pe nuksan hai. For instance, a lot of money in a way is wasted. Aap ne dekha hoga ke aksa gharo mein be shumar dawaiyon ki dher lage hoote hai, aisi dawaiyon ke jo ke is liye bach jati hai ke wo puri tarah se hum ne ismaal hi nahi ki hoote. Doctor agar hume kehta hai ke ji ye dawai saat din khani hai, to hum char din ke baad jab dekhte hai, mehsoos karte hai ke there's some improvement in us we tend to, you know, we tend to stop taking the medicines. So, you know, there's a lot of financial loss that each one of us goes through. Similarly, you know, uh, many, many hundreds and thousands of hours of medical advice is also wasted. Otherwise, wo जो टाइम हमने डॉक्टर के पास गुजारा होता है वो टाइम कोई और भी उस डॉक्टर से मुफीद मशवरा उसमें ले सकता था तो हेल्थ साइकोलॉजी की जो साइकोलॉजिस्ट जो है यू नो वो अब आपको अच्छा अंदाजा हो गया होगा कि व्हाट आर द काइंड ऑफ टारगेट्स उसके ज़ेहन में होते हैं तो ये बेसिकली छह टारगेट एरियाज से दैट आर ऑलवेज इन द माइंड ऑफ द हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट तो हेल्थ साइकोलॉजी जो है wo ab you know we can safely say and assume and i can assume that you understand that also that health psychology focuses on biological you know psychological and social factors that affect health and illness ye teeno factors pe health psychology jo hai wo khaas taur pe focus karti hai and many health psychologists jo hain they they are constantly figuring out ways and performing ways to promote healthy living, not only promote healthy living, but also prevent illness, you know, also prevent disease, and also help people, you know, to how to react psychologically when they are diagnosed, you know, with a certain chronic illness or with a certain illness. So health psychologists they are also interested in the personality of the people that they work with. You know, they are interested in the, in, the, in the personality of their clients. You know, they are also interested in their attitudes, you know, that, that people have. They want, to, they want people to have positive attitudes. Because if people do not have a positive attitude, if they have a negative attitude, तो उसका एक नेगेटिव रिपल पैदा होता है और और वो उनकी हेल्थ पे उसका एक खास असर जो है वो पड़ता है हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट जो है दे हैव बिकम सो इन्वॉल्व इन फिजिकल हेल्थ एंड इलनेस के बेशुमार मेडिकल सेंटर्स जो हैं दे नाउ हैव स्टार्टेड टू एम्प्लॉय हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट पर्टिकुलरली इन द वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज बट फॉर्चुनेटली हमारे मुल्क में भी अब मेडिकल सेंटर्स जो हैं वो साइकोलॉजिस्ट को क्लिनिकल साइकोलॉजिस्ट को उन्होंने हायर करना शुरू कर दिया है एंड यू नो दो ऑफ यू हु वुड नाउ ग्रेजुएट विद योर यू नो विद योर डिग्रीज जिनमें आपने हेल्थ साइकोलॉजी के कोर्सेज भी पढ़े होंगे तो आप देखेंगे कि दीज कोर्सेज आर गोइंग टू यू नो एड वैल्यू टू टू योर यू नो टू योर क्वालिफिकेशन यू नो there are going to be in future lot of openings for people like like you who are students of psychology and who have taken up courses in health psychology 
तो अब हेल्थ साइकोलॉजी का जो मेन फोकस जो आजकल है वो यू नो सिर्फ कोपिंग स्ट्रेटजी से ही नहीं है या एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ ऑफ देयर पेशेंट्स टू इलनेसेस से नहीं है बल्कि हाउ दे व्यू देयर क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ उससे भी बहुत है उसके साथ साथ अ हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट इज वेरी कीन एंड क्यूरियस टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड नो दैट व्हाई डू पीपल यू नो बिहेव इन सर्टेन मैनर्स एंड व्हाई डू दे यू नो ऑप्ट फॉर सर्टेन चॉइसेस दैट दे नो आर हार्मफुल फॉर देम फॉर इंस्टेंस इट्स नॉट टीन जो है या यंग जो एडल्ट जो है यू नो वाई डू दे वॉन्ट टू यू नो ऑप्ट फॉर स्मोकिंग when they know that smoking is not good for their health when they know that smoking causes cancer or even can cause death to is ye jo cheeze hain these are very very important elements and areas for health psychologists to look into now i would like to talk about five major aspects to health psychology वैसे तो बेशुमार aspects hain health psychology ke but but i think it's is important for us to at least you know point out द मेजर वंस तो ये मेजर जो है ये बेसिकली दे आर फाइव ईच वन ऑफ दीज एस्पेक्ट जो है दे यू नो ये ओवरऑल कंट्रीब्यूट करता है टू वट हेल्थ साइकोलॉजी इज टूडे फॉर आस इसमें जो पहला बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट है इसका वो है माइंड बॉडी कनेक्शन का आप सोच रहे होंगे कि माइंड बॉडी कनेक्शन की बात तो साइकोलॉजी में और भी एरियाज करते हैं लेकिन आई वुड लाइक to here particularly mention that health psychology is the only branch of psychology jo mind aur body ko saath leke chalti hai you know otherwise aur branches jo hain wo basically mind ki baat zyada karti hain psychology ki branches aur isi tarah medical branches jo hain wo body ki baat zyada karte hain health psychology has this unique kind of a characteristic to it it has this unique prerogative keh lijiye या ये एक यू नो इसकी ये एक स्पेशल एट्रीब्यूट है कि ये माइंड और बॉडी को इकट्ठा लेके चलता है यू नो इट इंक्लूड्स द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ यू नो ऑफ पीपल्स एडजस्टमेंट जो उनकी जो उनको एक एडजस्टमेंट करनी पड़ती है आफ्टर दे हैव बीन डायग्नोस्ड एज बीइंग यू नो हैविंग अ सर्टन डिजीज और यू नो you know or an injury so it it deals with those issues isi tarah psychological adjustment bhi jo hai wo bhi ek bada important element hai health psychology ka jisse maine aapko pehle bataya ke there are you know many psychological states jisme you know jinka impact hamare physical system pe padta hai for instance depression or anxiety you know these are conditions that आई एम श्योर वी ऑल एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स इन लाइफ एक्सपीरियंस देखने में ये आया है कि डिप्रेशन और एंगजाइटी जो है दे कैन ऑल्टर द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ आर इम्यून फंक्शन या इम्यून सिस्टम एंड इसी तरह और भी बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस जो है वो डिप्रेशन और एंगजाइटी की वजह से या स्ट्रेस की वजह से वो कई दफ़ा इफेक्ट हो जाते हैं और जब वो इफेक्ट होते हैं तो वट हैपन्स इज दैट यू नो इट लीड्स टू poor health practice for the person aur jo 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 quality ki care hai insaan jo apni kar, kar sakte hai otherwise wo diminish ho jati hai insaan apni health care jo hai wo us had tak nahi kar pata jo otherwise wo capable hota hai jaisa maine aapko pehle abhi bataya ki kai dafa hum jab under stress hote hain to hum apni needs ko us andaaz se attend nahi kar pate जो अदरवाइज वी आर केपेबल ऑफ डूइंग सिमिलरली ये जो साइकोलॉजिकल स्टेट्स हैं यू नो दे इनकी वजह से हमारी पर्सनैलिटी में हमारे अपने अंदर एक ये इस तरह की ऑल्टर्ड सॉर्ट ऑफ अ कंडीशन आ जाती है और हमारा फिजिकल फिजिकली भी हमारा इम्यून सिस्टम उससे इफेक्ट हो जाता है और और हम इवन अदरवाइज हमारी जो साइकोलॉजिकल ओरिएटेशन है वो भी इफेक्ट हो जाती है एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट we are not able to take as good a care isi tarah ek jo teesra bada important element hai jiska main yahan zikr karna zaruri samajhta hu wo preventing disease ka pehlu hai component hai health psychologists promote health and you know they give hope 
वो इन रिटर्न ये भी चाह रहे होते हैं वट दे आर ऑल्सो डूइंग इज दे आर ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू प्रिवेंट डिजीज दे आर मैनी मैनी क्रॉनिक इलनेसेज एंड दे आर मैनी क्रॉनिक कंडीशन यू नो दैट कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड जिनका जिक्र मैंने डिटेल में आपसे अर्लियर लेक्चर्स में किया था इसी तरह एक और कंडीशन जो चौथी यू नो कॉम्पोनेंट है बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट है उसको हम ऑप्टिमिज्म का नाम दे सकते हैं देखने में ये आया है कि इफ वी हैव अ ऑप्टिमिस्टिक एटीट्यूड यू नो टूवर्ड्स लाइफ तो उससे हमारे जो रिलेटेड बिहेवियर्स होते हैं यू नो वो उनका एक मुस्बत असर हमारी फिजिकल हेल्थ पे भी पड़ता है और लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च एविडेंस जो है वो ये इंडिकेट करता है दैट पीपल यू नो जिनमें सेल्फ एफिकेसी होती है जिन जिनमें एक एक पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड होता है जो एक पॉजिटिवली लाइफ को अप्रोच करते हैं उनका जो प्रोसेस ऑफ रिकवरी है इज मच फास्ट और वो बीमारी से जल्दी निकल आते हैं एज अपोज टू पीपल हु आर पेसिमिस्टिक और नेगेटिव इन देयर एटीट्यूड तो ये भी एक बड़ा इम्पॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट है जो हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट हेल्थ साइकोलॉजी जिसको बड़े वाज तौर पे सामने लेके आती है इसी तरह हेल्थ साइकोलॉजी के हवाले से एक और बड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट जो कंपोनेंट है जो सामने आया है वो सोशल सपोर्ट का कंपोनेंट है हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट जो है यू नो दे हैव एक्सटेंसिवली कैरिड आउट रिसर्च बेस्ड ऑन देयर देयर रूटीन वर्क बेस्ड ऑन देयर एवरी डे वर्क जिससे यू नो देयर इज नाउ अ लॉट ऑफ एविडेंस to support keep there is a positive relationship between social support between mental health support and physical health ye sari cheeze jo hai ye aapas mein connected hai to dekhne mein ye aata hai ke social support agar insaan ke paas acha ho social support system agar acha ho to insaan bahut behtar tarike se bimari ka muqabla bhi kar sakta hai aur bimari ko prevent bhi kar sakta hai so in that way you know social support has a very very important role to play now i would like to talk about some you know potential attractions jo health psychology mein nazar aati hain if one is to adopt it as a career for instance helping others if one is interested in you know doing social work or if one is interested in helping other people if one is interested in helping people who need help so this is a wonderful i think this is a very rewarding kind of a career and a profession to have i mean a health psychologist can actually save you know a person's life and lots and lots of time a health psychologist you know is able to give a better quality life to people that he works with to ye ek iski ek apni mental satisfaction jo hai wo bahut badi hoti hai isi tarah ek aur jo important cheez hai wo ye hai ke यू नो प्रोमोटिंग हेल्थ फॉर इंस्टेंस हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट का करियर जो है यू नो इट्स टोटली गियर्ड टूवर्ड्स प्रोमोटिंग हेल्थ यू नो वन इज कॉन्स्टेंटली एजुकेटिंग पीपल ऑन हाउ टू टेक केयर ऑफ देर ओन सेल्फ हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट जो है वो इन प्रोसेस ऑफ एजुकेटिंग पीपल टीच पीपल हाउ to deal with their risk factors how to reduce their risk factors in their lives and how to you know reduce the risk of illness ye bada ek bahut badi baat hai isi tarah ek teesra jo important factor hai isme challenge hai i mean it's a very very challenging job it's very very challenging working with people for instance you know who for who, you know who are going through a terminal illness unke sath kaam karna is very challenging इसी तरह समटाइम्स इट्स वेरी चैलेंजिंग टू वर्क विद पीपल हु हैव वेरी नेगेटिव एटीट्यूड यू नो आपके लिए वो एक किस्म का चैलेंज बन जाता है टू ब्रिंग देम आउट ऑफ दैट मोड ऑफ नेगेटिविज्म एंड मेक देम यू नो थिंक पॉजिटिवली एक्ट पॉजिटिवली तो इट्स वेरी चैलेंजिंग इन दैट वे सिमिलरली यू नो एक और बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट जो एलिमेंट है वो एक टीम एनवायरमेंट का एलिमेंट है बिकॉज अ हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट वर्क विद अदर प्रोफेशनल्स इज पार्ट ऑफ अ टीम ऑफन हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट जो हैं वो हॉस्पिटल सेटिंग्स में डॉक्टर्स के साथ नर्सिस के साथ यू नो रिसर्चर्स के साथ साइकोलॉजिस्ट के साथ यू नो दे वर्क एज अ टीम ये एक टीम इन्वायरमेंट की शक्ल में यू नो दे ऑपरेट दे वर्क 
Now let's look at some of the job opportunities that they have. Job opportunities जो हैं वो health psychologists के लिए ऐसा ऐसा भरती जा रही हैं जो जो health psychology popular होती जा रही है. You know health psychology is really becoming a very popular field and particularly जो चीज़ देखने में आ रही है कि वो ये है कि it's becoming very popular amongst the geriatric population. You know अब आगे की decades में there's going to be a lot of work that आप लोग कर सकेंगे if you come in this field to work with with people in old age for instance geriatric population जो है ये ये बूढ़े लोगों की है इसी तरह employment जो है वो अब और जो popular professions हैं उनकी तरह health psychology में भी you know employment की chances जो हैं वो बढ़ते चले जा रहे हैं और खास तौर पे in the western world देखने में आया है کہ یہ چیز بہت زیادہ ہو گئی ہے اسی طرح you know employment in health care facilities جو ہے وہ health psychologists کی there are lot of openings coming up now جو out patient mental health settings میں پائی جاتی ہیں جو for instance a lot of substance abuse drug abuse programs جو ہے drug addiction clinics جو ہے ان میں health psychologists کی services جو ہے are in demand نہ इसी तरह यू नो देर न्यूमरस जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज जो अब आगे आगे आप देखेंगे आर गोइंग टू कम अप इन स्कूल्स स्कूल्स आर गोइंग टू रिक्वायर हेल्थ साइकोलॉजिस्ट टू कैरी आउट यू नो प्रिवेंशन प्रोग्राम्स इसी तरह प्राइवेट सेक्टर में प्राइवेट सोशल जो एजेंसीज हैं वो इसी तरह मैनेजमेंट कंसल्टिंग सर्विसेज जो है दे ऑल्सो बी यूटिलाइजिंग यू नो योर सर्विसेज कंपनी जो है You know they will be using services of health psychologists. Uh, you know in in in, in developing de survey designs, in carrying out analysis, in carrying out research. This is तरह एक और बड़ा important area जो service जो industry related जो है वो employ employees assistance programs का area है. Employee assistance programs जो है ये basically क्या है? ये basically you know health psychologists जो है they offer services to various organizations. वो उनके you know personnel को services provide करते हैं to deal with you know stress related issues, to deal with psychological issues, to deal with other you know issues that they have with their other colleagues or maybe with their you know senior colleagues. So you know तो इससे आपको अंदाज़ा ये अच्छे तरीके से I think अब हो गया होगा कि हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट अ फील्ड दिस रियली इज सो आई होप दैट यू नो आप लोग जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं वर्चुअल यूनिवर्सिटी के और जिन्होंने ये हेल्थ साइकोलॉजी का कोर्स लिया है यू नो व्हेन यूल कम आउट ऑफ यू नो दिस प्रोग्राम एंड व्हेन यूल फिनिश योर डिग्री तो यूल यूल फाइंड दैट देयर इज अ वेरी वेरी एक्टिव यू नो अ वेरी पॉजिटिव कंट्रीब्यूशन दैट्स वेटिंग फॉर यू You know, you can carry out programs in the community. Our people now are in a position to to spread health awareness. You know, in the general public, because you have gone through this course, जो के बेशुमार और लोग are not so lucky. They are not. They have not gone through such courses. So this, I think, will be a great service towards. Our nation towards our community towards our society. So, ये जो चीज है, ये I think your understanding of health psychology will definitely add value not only to your life but it will also add value in lives of people that you will work with. So, इसके साथ मैं ये आज का आखिरी लेक्चर जो था, इसको मैं खत्म करता हूँ and I I would like to wish you Best of luck in your future endeavors, and I would look forward to some of you becoming health psychologists. So, Khuda Hafiz.